What's up guys? So today I have an update video. This update actually came out two days ago, but I've just uh, been busy in my life and did not uh, have the chance to make this uh, video yet. So when I first uploaded the actual update, it was at 4 a.m. in the morning, and then the next day I had uh, my nephew's birthday party. So um, that was the main reason why you're seeing this video now. And then I, again, I apologize for the delays for the update itself. I know I don't like, you know, to give you guys dates because... Because then if it doesn't happen, obviously everybody's mad. And I understand. But um, it's just, it was a cash update. And whenever we do cash updates, we just kind of have those experiences. So the two things that, um, the main things that came out with the cash update is the client background was the starting one. You have that. Really nice client background made by Cheshire. So thanks to her. And then we also have two new donator ranks, which um, I believe there's a 5K rank, which is called Uber. And there's a 10k rank, which is called Baller. I believe a couple people have Uber. Uh, I think Harry does. It's basically just a white rank, and then go a Baller is gold. Um, and then you have right here, you can see your new Legacy rank. Obviously, if you're a moderator, it would say moderator. But um, for for Ubers or whatever rank you are, elite, it would say that rank. So there's that. I forgot to loot this stuff. Uh, so let's get into the actual update. Before I do, I just want to just talk about uh, one quick thing: how to delete uh, your cache. Uh, so one of the reasons why I don't like doing cache updates is, for one, I just don't know a whole lot about cache and how it works and what makes what work and what makes what not work. More importantly, you know, I, I'm, I'd be very bad at troubleshooting my own problems if I were to make a mistake. Luckily, I was able to do this cache, and the last time we did cache update was me. So I think I've gotten a good, you know, I've gotten it down. I did make some mistakes. Um, I don't exactly know how. But the some of the icons in the bank are missing. I don't know exactly what I could have done to do that, but you know we'll we'll deal with that as is. Um, but the main thing it would be the the client background and those crowds. Those are the main additions. And um, whenever there's cash or new client or something like that, there's always some people that have problems. Um, so if you're getting this issue where you download the new cash and to know you have it, you would see the client background and everything. Um, but it doesn't connect. It says revival is updated. That means you have the correct cash, but not the correct client. So what you need to do is delete your client and just go to the website Play Now and download the new client. It should work. Um, if you have trouble de deleting your cache, you can't get the new cache. Go to I'll, I'll show you here. So, so go to your C drive, your Windows, whatever, and then you should have multiple drives. C drive, users, your name, and then Revival V1. Just delete that straight up, and then when you restart the client, you should get the cache. Uh, so that's really simple. If you have Mac or something like that, I don't. I have no clue. I have no clue where it's stored on Mac. Good. Good luck. <laughs> I'll maybe hope somebody can comment below where it. I think it's stored differently for other people. Like I think you choose where you store it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I have no clue. But let's get into the actual update. So the God Wars 2 area was re uh, revamped, buffed a little bit. You either have new loots. Um, you now get signets per every kill. And you can no longer gamble for signets, so if you did want to kill bosses, you do kind of have to kill these now. But there is some extra incentive to kill them. Not only do they themselves have better loot, and you can see I don't really have anything too crazy, but they have superior fighter spawns. Um, so every single uh, god, all four of them, have their um, have 1 in 50 chance of spawning a superior fighter. And the superior fighter, I will sort of show, I'll show you the loots now. If we just search, we'll actually just search for items. Okay, you know what? We'll go with, <laughs> with Elven Hand Wraps. That's probably the easier one. All right, so then you have the uh, um, Elven Hand Wraps, which are ranged gloves, the uh, Masket's gloves, which are melee, and then, of course, you have the Robes of Darkness, uh, which are magic. So those are the three main unique items that have been added with this update. You also have the Legacy Stamp, which is basically just 25 Legacy Points. Um, so it is a higher tier version of the Legacy Ticket, which is now named such. Um, so they are best in slot for their respective style. They're not hybrid, and they each have some some weaknesses. Like they don't have very good defensive bonuses. Um, the Maskets, for example, has negative in some instances, but they do have the best offensive bonuses for gloves. So they will beat the uh, Maskets or the uh, Silent Gauntlets. But if you look at the Silent Gauntlets, um, and I don't have anything else to compare it to, but. Uh, so they have one more strength, but they don't have any prayer. They don't have any defense. And I think they have negative crush defense because Ixaran is weak to defense. So they are purely offensive gloves. So if you still have a silent gauntlets, you can probably stick with them. They're only one less in terms of the strength bonus. But, you know, if you're one of those people that wants to have the max strength bonus, then you need to be grinding these. So each one has a 150 chance. They all, all four of them drop the exact same loot. So you can really kill whichever one you wanted the signets for. For me, so let's get 
So the actual bosses themselves did receive some loot buffs as well. I um, I didn't change too much or add too many things because personally I felt like they were they were really they were good. I think that they just needed to be uh, better, and, and you'll see kind of what I uh, what changes I made there. Redwood short bones, nice. But thanks to everybody's playing, we've actually had like 50, 60 people out all day, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so let's go to let's just go to Elune because I know there's only one of her. Um, so you can see nothing really too, too much has changed. It, it would probably look the same if you're not too familiar with these. There are a couple additions and a couple improvements. For example, the component value is higher. A lot of the items in general are higher, and even the ones that look the same. For example, the 10 replay things. It used to be you would have a minimum of 1, maximum of 10. Now, every time you get that loot, it's 10. And that's kind of how a lot of the, the ones work. There are some slightly new items, like the Crystal Shield. I don't think Javelins were on there. Um, the, 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 not the pair. The, the legacy stamp is now there. That is added to all of them. That is the only way to get legacy stamps is from the four God Wars bosses and the four God Wars generals or fighters, whatever you'd like to call them. Um, and then all, the, like I said, all the base amounts are, are a lot, um, are a lot higher. I realize that's not, that's supposed to, that's definitely not supposed to be 55 magic potions. I think that that's supposed to be 55 um, prayer potions, super like no, like the super snapdragons, super snapdragon, not super snapdragons, grimy snapdragons. Um, so that's a mistake. I'll fix that eventually. But if you need fifty-five magic potions, this would be the boss to kill. I did add dark stone as well to all of them. Um, so then I'll show you another one. But like I said, I didn't do too much. It was really just about improving the base drops and um, just making a few improvements like this. I think it used to be like twenty-five hundred or something like that, something real low. Now it is up to 10,000, and then of course the legacy stamp is 25 legacy points, which now that there are new modes, it would definitely be a nice item to get. So that was the main thing I did for that. The crown itself has some new buffs. The crown, uh, whenever you go to Ikthorin, instead of getting all of your special attack drain, if you have a crown on, you'll, you'll get 50% back. Uh, and then when you're at Sliske, if you have a crown on, you'll never teleport away from the maze. His maze won't affect you. Um, the King Green Dragon now drops two eggs, uh, guaranteed, so it's now two to three instead of one to three. Um, all dragon tasks are now just considered dragon, all demon tasks are considered just a demon. Uh, Bryophyta Staff got nerfed, it doesn't work in the wilderness anymore, the value got improved, so you can keep it if you did have it in the wilderness for whatever reason. Um, just a couple other minor changes, a big fat list, I will have the link in the description below, but the main things really was just the client update and the Guide Wars 2. A revamp so thanks for watching i apologize for getting this video out and i just apologize for the general you know delays that the update had in the first place but uh, it is out and we shouldn't have to do any cash related things for a while i mean the re the, the modes the zone of uh, the uh, the ranks whatever they don't have very many um benefits or zones or anything like that they don't have any of that stuff but um but they were working on it <laughs> you know what i mean i did, it, it had to get added with the cash so that's why we added them this early but uh, if you have any suggestions for the zones or the modes, you think it can improve them, let us know. If you have any suggestions at all, just post in the Discord. We do read them. I mean, if you look at the list of suggestions, a lot of them are just straight from what people have been asking for. Um, the staff's val the, the Briarfighter staff's value increased. People have been asking me about that. The Bonfire DZ, that people have asked me about that. Um, Scythe working on Vitter. They said it wasn't working. I figured out what why it wasn't working and fixed it. Now it should be working. So. Uh, if you have suggestions or bug reports, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to, you know, fix it eventually. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later.